AI models have secretly feasted on millions of copyrighted artworks to fuel their exponential rise. But the tables have turned. A cunning new weapon has been unleashed, sparking fierce debate on the ethics of thinking machines. This battle could reshape the artificial intelligence landscape as we know it. Artificial intelligence has been secretly binging on copyrighted artworks for years now. Models like DALI and Stable Diffusion were trained on massive datasets of images scraped from across the internet without the artist's permission. Their capabilities grew exponentially as they consumed millions of creative works. But this free, all-you-can-eat AI buffet may soon end. Researchers at the University of Chicago have developed an ingenious new AI poison pill, a way for artists to contaminate their creations so they become toxic training data. This technique, called Nightshade, alters images through machine learning techniques that are invisible to the human eye. But when ingested by AI systems, Nightshade causes mayhem. It tricks the algorithms into misidentifying objects, distorting concepts, and outputting pure nonsense. Think of it like altering one ingredient in a complex recipe. Nightshade corrupts the data at a foundational level. The masterminds behind this AI-disrupting technology are Ben Zhao and his team of graduate students at the University of Chicago's Department of Computer Science. Their names are Sean Shan, Weng Xin Ding, Josephine Passananti, and Haitao Zheng. Building on their prior work with an AI-confusing tool called Glaze, the team developed Nightshade as a more potent data poisoning technique. While Glaze focused on obfuscating artistic style, Nightshade went further by actively corrupting the training process. So how does it work exactly? Nightshade takes an image of a given concept, like a dog, and subtly modifies the image so that in latent space, it contains features of a totally different concept, like a cat. To a human or a scraper, it still looks unambiguously like a dog. But when this poisoned data is fed into an AI model, the engine gets confused. The dog image now has conflicting cat characteristics embedded within it. In tests, the Nightshade team used this technique to completely hijack AI-generated dogs. After ingesting only 50 poisoned dog images, the AI model began outputting dogs with distorted features. With 100 samples, it produced cats instead of dogs. By 300, the generated cat images were near photorealistic. Because of the way AI models cluster similar concepts, the poisoning even allowed Nightshade to trick the algorithm into generating cats when prompted with related words like husky, puppy, and wolf. A small dose of tainted data corrupted the entire concept of dog within the AI model. This is a chilling demonstration of data poisoning's disruptive potential. But Nightshade's creators argue it's a necessary countermeasure to force AI companies to stop scraping artwork without the artist's consent. They aim to shift the asymmetry of power back towards content creators. However, big tech won't go down without a fight. AI giants, many of them worth billions of dollars, will surely develop countermeasures to detect and combat poisoned data. Smaller firms could be left behind, lacking the resources to navigate this minefield. If poisoning becomes widespread, tech firms may have to scrap existing models and retrain new ones from scratch with strictly licensed authorized data. This would be massively expensive and time-consuming, but there may be no other way forward if vast chunks of training data become irreparably contaminated. The coming months will be telling. If the AI community is able to develop effective anti-poisoning defenses quickly, Nightshade's impact could be contained. But if not, we may witness a dramatic reshaping of how AI models are trained and on what data. Entire industries could feel the ripples. More broadly, this clash illuminates urgent debates around AI ethics. As algorithms permeate our lives, difficult questions arise. Who gets to control the data that fuels the machine economy? What are the limits on how creative works can be repurposed without consent? How do we balance innovation and human rights? Powerful tools like Nightshade bring these tensions into focus. There are rarely easy answers when technologies disrupt the status quo. But the solutions we settle on will chart the course ahead. This battle is about more than just art. As AI capabilities grow more astounding by the day, we must stay vigilant. Progress should not come at the cost of creative freedoms or human dignity. If we steer carefully, technology can uplift society. But we must keep our hands firmly on the wheel. The real adventure has only just begun.